Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. This, I actually was surprised by how many comments and DMs that I got about this, but I am finally checking out the new characters in Star Stable, possibly one of the biggest updates in Star Stable's history. This is kind of like a complicated thing because we actually got new characters in about 2016-17 and they made small adjustments. Though actually looking back I was like, maybe they made more than just the neck change. So I'm like, these are the OG OG characters because I made this account in 2013 but I made my first account in like late 2012, early 2013. I can't quite remember when. I was a small child. But anyways, we, we do have new characters but this past week because you know, as you do, a biggest update of Star Stable's history, my sister was visiting. Now it was absolutely lovely. I loved having my sister come and visit me. We live in different states. I live in a different state to the rest of my family. So I didn't get to change out this update on Tuesday with you guys. Now I'm kind of glad because there were some little technical difficulties that Star Stable had trouble with. Now there is still some bug fixes that they're still working on and there's also still things that they want to add like Star Stable said that these animations are not complete which we're going to talk about that. I would also be lying to you guys if I did not see any content. I've seen content on Instagram, not on YouTube. I actually don't watch a ton of YouTube, but I've seen content on Instagram. I subconsciously click on it, so it would have been impossible for me to escape them for almost a week. <laughs> Also over on my Discord server as well. I've loved seeing the pictures over on my Discord server. You guys can join it. Link in the description. We would love to have you there. It's my brand new Discord server. So if you're in the old one or you're not sure, you might want to double check. Anyways, I also logged on with my sister because my sister wanted to see the new characters. But honestly, I feel like... I would have said the same things either way. If you guys didn't know, I actually was fortunate enough to be a beta tester uh, back in November, October, whenever it was last year. And so I feel like that was a major soft launch for me. I feel like I kind of already like, I don't know. I just feel like this change has been a little bit easier for me than some other people, which is how it's going to be for anything. Change can be super easy for some people, super hard for others, and change is always going to take some getting used to. But let's just get into it because we're going to be making the new Cassandra McBell and I will let you guys know something. I think we're going to be changing my hairstyle. Now, I did actually, uh, I did log onto this account because my sister wanted to see the Fort Maria library. She loves books. But other than that, my sister and I actually logged onto one of my old accounts. It's actually my camera account on Firestar just because I wanted to show them to her. So yeah, anyways... This intro has been very long, I'm very sorry. And I also feel like there's still so much more stuff that I'm gonna miss, or things like that. But, let's meet the new Cassandra McBell and get this all changed up. Alright, we're on the loading screen, and... We have our very first Cassandra McBell reveal. Is my hair weird? Anyways. And here we go, here is the automated thing that Star Stable gave me. This is the automated character. We're gonna talk like there's, there's things that I wanna say, but I think first before we talk about animations or things like that, let's go ahead and head to a stylist. I think we'll head to the Fur Grove one because it's the closest to me, or we could take the trailer to like Silverglade, which might be quicker. This is so strange. Wait, I kind of want to change horses because I want to be on like a new horse. This here, crusty horse. Love myself the old horses, don't worry. But I just feel like it's fitting to ride on a newer horse. Alright, why are the pictures not showing up? That's odd. Is it server lag? Let's go into my closet. Wait, that's not the right pants. Is this like a thing that has been happening? Wait, do I have to go to a stylist or can I just do it here? Change appearance? Or maybe I can do it in my home stable. Star Stable kept talking about going to stylus, so I guess I just kind of forgot that you can do it in your home stable. Okay, free of charge for the first time. And depending on what you change up, it changes up the price. So I think it's like 30 star coins for your eyebrow shape. Let's see, it's 60 star coins for the body type, 60 star coins for the skin tone, 60 for the face, 30 for the eyes, 30 for the eyebrow shape, and 30 for the eyebrow color. One thing that I found very strange was the fact that these characters have more facial animations in the creator than in the actual game. And I'm not entirely sure why they've done that. I guess the facial rigging hasn't been finished yet. 
One thing that did kind of surprise me a bit was how quickly these characters came out. I was expecting them to be worked on for a little bit longer and there wasn't as massive of a change between beta characters to full release that I was expecting. But there is this very fine line that I've had in-depth conversations a little bit with people in the Discord server where it's like people want new characters but people also want other things and people want different things and it's like this fine line of when does star stable release it and uh, i'm doing a terrible job at explaining this right now okay i feel like i'm terrible at picking skin tones um i can't quite tell because also i found with the face shape because their face is moving so much in this creator and it doesn't move this much in the actual game i find myself i found this in beta testing as well but it's like i would choose one and then i would be like in the game and i'd be like this doesn't look the same as the creator i don't like it as much so it would be cool if there was an option for us to like make our character t-pose or something which is like stand still no animations i don't know okay let's maybe hide our headwear maybe hide the makeup i don't know we'll talk about makeup in a minute you guys okay i kind of like i can't remember what face shape i chose in beta testing for my character but i feel like i can't find it again but i feel like this one i like the best but also i'm not really sure i'm not really sure so i think i'm gonna do this one but that might change. I, it hurts a little bit to spend 60 star coins when I'm trying to experiment and find out which face shape I want. But I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. So I think that's what we're going to do. I also found it really weird that like my, my character is blue eyes. I don't know when they turned over to the new characters why my eye color changed. Like I would have thought that was one of the things that could stay the same compared to everything else like the eye color would have stayed the same it's nothing much of a hassle though because you know first time is free but i believe this is my blue color it's not these two it is this one right here my alt account uh for back to the beginning actually has the wrong blue color so we can finally fix that one up let's also do black eyebrows because my character in star stable and like my online persona has never actually been of me. As you guys can probably see, I got brown hair. I got brown eyes. Um, I don't know why. I just, it's not like I've ever wanted black hair in real life. I'm pretty fine with the hair that I have. I think it's always just been, I don't know, there's a separation between Hannah, me, and Cassandra McBell. I don't know. And also, I could literally just use any of these eyebrows i wish that eyebrows were like hairstyles where you could choose any and pay like 30 star coins once and be able to switch between them at any time because like i want to just change my eyebrows it's just like a new thing of mine with these new characters i just want different eyebrows like every day these ones are kind of nice i don't really know because i also kind of like these ones here i think i might actually go for these ones but i'm not entirely sure hmm Let's see what they look like with my glasses on. They probably look basically the same no matter what eyebrows I choose. All right, I think that's the new and improved Cassandra McBell. She's not the same without the glasses on. I'm not entirely sure about the skin tone. When I was with my sister, I actually chose this one and I just found it a little bit too light in game. So I have chosen the slightly dark one because I think this one might be a bit too tanned for what I'm going for. So I think this is the new Cassandra McBell, but as I said, the hairstyle is going to change and we'll explain that. All right, so let's go ahead and confirm. Wow, okay. So once again, well, let's see what this one looks like in game. All right, let's go ahead and oh, a little bit of lag. Let's turn around to see my face. Okay, see, I don't know if I like this face. I said this in beta testing, but I wasn't 100% like vibey with any of the face shapes, but that's not like Star Stable's fault. Like there's plenty there. I'm sure they want to add more. It's just like, I also would have been super overwhelmed if there was like a hundred choices. Like in The Sims, I do it to myself. I download thousands of custom content. And do I use all of them? No, I do it in Star Stable too. I've got a full closet. Do I wear all that clothes? No, I don't. But I'm actually kind of vibing with this face right now. So one thing, let, let's talk about hair. Now this hair has been iconic on my character. Since I think I got it in about 2016, I might've made 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure after 2016, or I bought it at the same time that I bought the Black Morgan horse, whenever they came out. I have never changed my hair. I did a few times in 2020, just because we got that new closet system where you could save hairstyles. But yeah, since then, this hair has basically been mine. But I found out in beta testing, it's not my favorite anymore. It's a, it's a bit shorter than I would have expected. And it's also a bit more wavier, curlier than I would have expected as well, which is probably just like, this is the vision that they will try to go on the old characters. I don't really know. But yeah, it's honestly still beautiful. I feel like the new hairs or the hairs are one of the best features of the new characters alongside the eyebrows. I, I actually love the eyebrows. They make a much bigger difference than you would expect. The eyebrows are very cool. And the makeup. The makeup's okay. We'll get to makeup. But yeah, I just, I don't think that this is... This is the McBell hair anymore. Or the Cassandra hair, because what accounts am I actually McBell on other than this one? Oh yeah, there's also this hair, which is the starter hair that you can get. And in beta testing, I didn't like this hair because it was very, like, it looked very wet and very damp. And I've loved to see that the fact that they've actually changed the texture a little bit and it's looking a lot nicer now. Um, but yeah, this still isn't the McBell hair, you guys. I don't know if I actually own it. And as you guys can see, for some reason, I can't actually see. Oh, this is makeup. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? I don't know if I own the hair that I'm thinking of going with. Now, honestly, I thought this was going to be much less of a change than I'm slowly realizing. I feel like this is going to be weird. Especially because, like, my profile picture. Do I have to change my profile picture now? Like, do I want to change my hair? It doesn't... Wait, maybe it was only clipping the glasses a bunch when I had a hat on. Yeah, it clips the glasses a bunch when I have a hat on, if you can see through the glass there. But that, yeah, once again, that's not the only reason. I also don't love the fact that you can see my ears poking out. Um, I don't know, I just find that little bit of ear a little bit weird. This one, oh no, where, do I own it? This is so difficult. Star Stable, why is it not giving me a picture? Like, I love, I honestly, I feel like I might change hairs more often, especially for role plays, because I do want to bring role plays back, but um, I'm not sure. I feel like I still need an iconic hair. I don't think I own it, you guys. Do we have to go buy a hair right now? I love the shorter hairs as well, you guys, which don't, like, in the role play, it wouldn't make sense because I can't just, like, get extensions. I guess I could get extension, get extensions, and, like, switch back. Okay, we don't own the hair. Perfect. Let's go get it then. It does feel a little bit weird to change my hair, but since the updated hair just doesn't really feel the same to me anymore, it's not as shocking. I don't know if you guys are going to feel more shocked than I am that I'm changing my hair. Honestly, I do really love this one that I'm wearing in the game right now, which has like the um, braids here. And I would consider it... But I do have another one in mind. I would also consider the long straight one, which I think you can get at Yalaheim. But my new hair is going to be this one. I don't know why. It speaks to me. Um, ignore the fact that I literally, I wear this hair in real life. Um, I actually never wore my hair in plaits like this until I made, in beta testing, I made the making myself IRL in Star Stable. And this was the closest that I could get to my hair. Now my hair is actually very long. You guys cannot really tell, but my hair is very long. So it's probably, it's definitely longer than the hair in Star Stable. But yeah, then you guys had some lovely comments in that video how you liked my hair like this. So now it's kind of become a stable because my hair is so long. I don't really know what to do with it most of the time and it gets really frizzy and it's been super windy where I live currently. So it's like long hair out just all over the face in other people's faces maybe like annoying. So I think this is the new Cassandra McBell hair. And I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I just feel like it feels right to me. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about it. And let's talk about makeup. Now, I, as I said before, I love how the makeup looks. And I originally thought maybe I'm remembering it wrong. When Star Stable first announced some of the features coming with new characters, it sounded like we'd have modulated makeup. So you could choose the eyeshadow separate to maybe the eyeliner, the blush, the lipstick. And this has been my staple makeup also for probably the same amount of time that my hair has. And I just, 
I mean, I think this is still one of my favorite ones, but at the same time, it doesn't feel the same because it's not as dramatic or accentuated as the old one was. I'm hoping that now with new characters, we get more. I also feel like our, our characters have no eyelashes right now. Like, all that's there is eyeliner, and I don't know how I feel about that. I think, like, that there is meant to be our eyelashes. I don't know. I also... So, I still like this makeup here. But I have been thinking recently that, like, I've actually never really liked the lips that much. But on the old characters, that's what we were restricted to. Now, I don't think Star Stable is going to bring out modulated makeup. But if they did, it would be great. Because I actually never wear lipstick in real life. I don't really feel like it looks good on me. So I wish I could have, like, a more neutral lipstick like this one here with a more dramatic eye. Maybe that's something Star Stable can make on a new makeup set or something like I'm hoping with I feel like we haven't had new hair or makeup in ages and that's probably because of the new characters in development so hopefully we get some more but yeah so I'm probably gonna keep my makeup like this right now so yeah I think I think this is the new Cassandra McBell you guys and I'm feeling really happy with it and here we are with the helmet on as well and yeah I, I don't know I just like the vibes of it so let's move on i suppose to some of the animations let's talk about the animations now obviously i don't know how this looks like with different body types and things like that i've actually noticed that i really like some of the heavier body types in the animations as well they look better in some and not as good in others also with clothes as well, I feel like because these clothes were made for the one model and some of these clothes are years old, I was hoping that Star Stable would fix more of the glitching than they did. I feel like there's still some design warping. They look worse on some models than others. I think that's one of the reasons that Star Stable could probably never have a slider system. Also with animations, there can still be some clipping, like it's already been difficult adding more body types than having a slider system, as unfortunate it is because obviously sliders would be the peak, they would be the most epic way to be able for everyone to have their want of a look of a character. I know that sentence just made no sense. <laughs> Sometimes I speak well, I speak a lot exactly how my brain thinks, and as you can tell, my brain does not think in sentences that are coherent. <laughs> so, I would still, like, this, honestly, this outfit here is actually one of the better examples, but I have seen worse ones. Like, oh, it's so annoying that I cannot see any of the shirts and stuff right now. If I go into Global Store, what's happening in Global Store? The exact same thing. I don't want to log off and log on. T-shirts are looking pretty good. There's a very specific one. They're like, uh... More of the ones which are more of a v-neck. I found on the new characters, they're a lot lower than I would have liked on some of them. These ones look okay here because they've got like an undershirt. And I feel like the dresses still look a little funky. Like, what is, what is that? Maybe it looks better in the game. Obviously, this is in global store. I don't know if this is one of the examples. But yeah, I just feel like some of the shirts that have a lower v they're just like a lot lower than i would have uh that i have like i don't know it's just like it's fine but it's also lower than they were on the old characters obviously it's not every single style of shirt i'm just trying to find them with no pictures like even this one i just feel like it's just that little bit it's literally just like a centimeter a millimeter too low in my personal preference but let's talk animations now. I feel like this is like... <sighs> I feel bad because this isn't my first reaction. But I also didn't have any amazing reactions when I was with my sister. So, um, yeah. what Some animations that I love... The dismounting uh, animation. Epic. There's still like that little glitch at the end. I don't know if we'll ever get that fixed because that's more also on the height of the horse it changes. Uh, the mounting up animation would be epic if there was not weird glitch where we just levitate upwards and it's even like worse like this mounting animation i can't use that in a role play in a cinematic video that i want to do for my role plays which i that's kind of where i'm coming from at this point as we have like for the walking i actually love more of these subtle movements in the arms and the hips now i think they look amazing and when i first saw these i was actually like well that looks cool 
even in like this just like the legs just feel natural with like the arm movement i feel like there could be more like head movement i don't really know how to describe it because it also depends what discipline you come from and um things like that i don't I don't know what I'm saying. And then I also really love the Canter one as well. I feel like there's obviously, oh yeah, by the way, the little stirrup glitch is something that Star Stable is aware of and they're working on it. It's just been more difficult than they expected. They also work a nine to five on Monday to Friday. It's midsummer this week. There's a lot going on. So um, yeah, and fixing the stirrups was a little bit more difficult than they first anticipated. Uh, I try to keep you guys updated as much as I can on the Discord and also on Instagram with any tweets from some of the uh, developers that I can find. But yeah, so they are working on that and I think it'll definitely make it look a lot better, I guess, with those updated. Where were we up to? Oh yes, the canter. And then we have the slow gallop. And I actually also really like this. I feel like this one is a little bit more stiffer than the other ones, like maybe on the shoulders, I'm not sure. Maybe that's how you're meant to ride. Are you meant to look more stiff when you're when you're riding? I'm not sure. Um, and then the only thing that I didn't really like was the fact that this is the slow gallop. And if we go to a fast gallop, this could be really difficult to do sometimes in Star Stable from the side, I get. Okay. I just feel like slow gallop, fast. Oh, wait. It looked different before. Canter, slow gallop. Now it's not changing, but it kind of changed before, but it's not changing anymore. Anyways, I don't know if that's a glitch, but I feel like our character could be leaning over a little bit more. I know that's more of a jockey style. Maybe that's not what the vibe Star Stable is going for. But yeah, I just feel like that could make our characters look a little bit more in control if maybe their legs were bent down a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. Or more like in the seat. I don't know. There's just something off for me. A not equestrian in real life about this. Oopsies. That was a good animation. That was fine. Uh, next up, I guess we have the jump. And honestly, it's pretty cool to see the updated... I think they've updated the jump a little bit. But because of that sliding of the stirrups and stuff, I feel like there could still be a little bit adjusted with it. But maybe it'll look different with the stirrup and there's also the rear which they've added to which is really really cool i did actually notice i think it was on the other horse that we were on it didn't quite look right but like this is so much better than what we had before let's call for pickup and actually go on to that other your no they're not called your vigwards anymore whoa that's so 2020 of you uh what are they called windfell the rear was just weird it just didn't look right <laughs> <laughs> it looked like our old characters. Maybe it was a little glitchy glitch. In terms of like padding, I've actually found, sorry, this turns on and off my reshade, but it's also the padding thing. It's broken. I don't know if it's a new character thing, but yeah, unfortunately you can't uh, click to pat your horse. Even if you click the button, it doesn't work anymore, which is unfortunate. I do find the searching thing a little bit odd for a idle animation. I wish that that was a slash command, like slash search binocular but not <laughs> i don't know i just feel like the idol animations are a little and everyone's no offense but everyone's instagram posts are literally the same the same new character pose it's literally just okay these gloves are chunky oh my goodness look how chunky these gloves are i'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the gloves off because i they, they look crazy man <laughs> is everyone's characters are like this or they're like, Betsy, please don't make me look stupid. This. Which is fair enough, because there's like two idol animations. <laughs> Let's quickly do the rear though, before I get completely sidetracked. Okay, rear. I don't know why. I think it's just because the wind fell bends back so much more. But we just look like we're like defying gravity a little bit. Anyways, I guess that's probably... I mean, there's a lot of smaller animations in the game that we're not going to be able to get to, which is why updating characters is so insane, and which is why half of the animations are not actually updated yet, is because there's thousands of animations in this game, from quests to, like, I believe all of these ones here are a copy and paste, which is why 
they're a little bit funky. See, you see this warping on the clothes, but I'm not sure if that's ever something that Star State was going to be able to fix. What was I doing? I think it was follow with my sister and like, oh yeah, 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 look at that wrist. Look at that wrist. It's a little twisty, twisty boy. Look at that hand. Yeah, see those are copy and paste. So those like animations aren't updated yet. I don't know how long it's gonna be that we have to wait for that. In terms of the walking though, I, I really like the walking. I feel like the walking is solid. The running is just funny to me. It's a good run, but it just looks kind of funny to me. But it's good. And then we have the crouch, which honestly doesn't look that different to me. Like, I don't often use crouch other than in quest. Our arm does look a little bit funny, though. We look a little bit stiff. I don't know. There's also this turning animation, which I love. But sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But I think this looks really cool. Like, look at that feet work. I just feel like our characters can look pretty cool. Like, this is a cool picture. But when that's, like, the only way that your character kind of looks, it looks a little funky. And I am very hesitant to talk about the characters' animations because, obviously, they're not done and they're going to be continued to work on. So this is more of a what I would like to see. And I know Star Steve was working on it. But it's, like, obviously more facial things. I also was saying to my sister, like, we can't really make the characters smile more because if they're smiling all the time, then it looks kind of creepy. But they still kind of look creepy right now because they're not smiling. And I don't know. Like, what do humans do when we're idle animationing? Probably looking at our phones. Mm. <laughs> like, I don't know. But yeah. Like that searching animation I was talking about, I feel like that's not something... I mean, I guess it's fine, but when I'm thinking of it from an aesthetic, cinematic, roleplay film creation, I... It would kind of annoy me a little bit if my character was searching for something that doesn't go in line with my storyline, with my script. I don't know. Gosh, what else is there to say? I mean, yeah, it's just interesting that our characters do blink here, but yeah, the rest of their faces, no animations. I guess they just weren't ready yet. They didn't want to add them because even in beta testing, they'd only just started the facial rigging and they were like, hey, you guys wanted this. So I guess you can have like what we've just started working on. Um, so I guess they didn't want that in the final product yet. But yeah, the, 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 the mounting thing is a little bit is a little bit funny. But overall, I'm actually getting super used to the new characters and I'm actually, I really love Cassandra McBell. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is the hair a big change or like, because I feel like it's not, but maybe that's just me. It's also so fun seeing everyone's different characters now. Oh, I also know there's a few animation glitches when people are doing special animations, which I just saw someone do. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. There's also some horse glitches right now where like the Appaloosa has a sliding stop. I was a little heartbroken because I love the Appaloosa's stop right now. Like the little, it was cute. Uh, those are glitches and Star Stable is working on fixing them. They will be reverted back to their normal animation. This video I feel like is going to be so long, but let's do a little bit of final, I guess, thoughts. There's definitely going to be things that I missed, things that I wanted to say that I've been thinking about over the past week once I've been like mentally preparing for this video uh, that I'll have forgotten about. That's just how it goes with these kinds of videos. But I kind of just wanted to talk about, wrap it up a little bit, and also roleplay. So I have never been very consistent with my roleplays. I'm not sure if you guys could notice that. But I'm also a film lover. I love filmmaking and things like that. And I've had ideas for roleplays, but I just feel so unsure about my roleplays because I, that rainbow, it do be glitched out. I'm just because I don't write in real life, I'm never going to be the most technical person. Like, I feel like there's only so much textbook knowledge that I can get into my brain that I can apply without actually having the physical knowledge of horses from my own experience. Sometimes I wish I was younger because when I was younger, I feel like I had so much more of an understanding of horses than I do now. I don't know if that's just because people bully me on the internet now for not being a horse rider in real life <laughs> and I didn't have that when I was a kid. Anyways... So I figured a few months ago, I was like, you know what? I think I want to bring back my roleplay and I have ideas. And I even like, I made a roleplay with the beta characters because I wanted to see what it would kind of look like. And I do have a bit of a storyline that I want to keep following a little bit. Um, 
it's a work in progress a little bit but i was like you know what it's close enough to the new characters that star people said they were coming out in summer australia winter it's so cold right now <laughs> but i was like i'll wait for that but after seeing these new characters i think i'm gonna keep waiting i think there's just a few things like i want the role play to take as much of a cinematic direction as i can take it as possible and I feel like I still can't quite get that yet. And I'm not too mad because this is giving me a little bit more time to really try and iron out all of the wrinkles and tie up the edges of my roleplay and maybe just kind of soak up more knowledge or something. I don't know. But I think that's going to be the end of this video. It is was. It is was. <laughs> it was just my kind of first expressions of the new characters. Overall, I'm super glad that Star Stable has finally released them. It's super cool. And I think that these are... Everything's going to be arguably, but these are going to be better than the one body type than the old characters that we had. Regardless of whether you want more body types or not, like six is still better than one. Change is also still a big thing. And I'm sure we all felt the same when Ares and Star Stable got updated, but now we are kind of have probably gotten used to them. Do I still get lost in Silverglade Village? Yes, I do. But that's okay. Because it's pretty. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like the new Cassandra McBell. If you are interested in more new character content, though, on the screen right now is going to be my playlist full of beta character testing. It's basically the same. We did a bunch of challenges like making a new character in black and white and in inverted colors and making myself in the game like me with brown hair in the game. And uh, they're basically the same. The beta characters, yes, there's more glitches in the beta characters. But yeah, it's still more content if you want to watch those videos. I have a whole playlist. But yes, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. Did I say I love you twice? Well, I love you guys a lot. <laughs>